South Africa to side with Russia on push for redesigned global order. Here's a summary of the article. Investigator to probe South Africa's handling of stalled apartheid-era cases. South Africa scores 29 straight points in beating Canada at HSBC New Zealand 7s. This post received a score of 34,000, with an up-vote ratio of 87%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. On the first day of Russia's invasion of Ukraine last year, the South African government demanded an immediate Russian withdrawal. It warned that the Russian military action would cause human suffering and destruction and huge damage to the global economy. But since then, South Africa has refused to repeat this criticism, instead choosing to abstain in UN votes, while calling for dialogue and negotiations. On Monday, when asked whether she had repeated any of her original criticism to the Russian foreign minister, Ms. Pandor said she would seem, quite simplistic and infantile? If she, well it's easy to see that money exchanged hands in some way. Which is completely wild. Russia is at the point of bribing, threatening South Africa in order to not appear alone. SA doesn't exactly exude world power or influence. Spending their time trying to get SA on their side tells me there's no one more influential that will even entertain the idea. Russia and SA are two incredibly corrupt near-failed states in near-continuous decline of relevance and standing on the world stage. They belong together. As a South African, my heart is broken by this. Majority of this country are good folks who are facing an increasingly difficult reality. All because we are a nation that has a high tolerance for incompetency and corruption. It beaks my heart for you as well. My SO's niece married a South African and we attended the wedding there, as well as doing a tour of the garden route. I have never seen such natural beauty as I witnessed there. What a stunningly gorgeous country. And the people I encountered were also beautiful and kind and funny. I weep for the corruption and evil that is loose in the world right now. We have so many issues in South Africa and this is how the government prioritize their time. I really hope we can vote out these corrupt criminals next year. Good relations with Russia usually indicate a corrupt government. Case in point, Belarus. Or Syria. Iran. Venezuela. Cuba. China? North Korea. Nicaragua. Hey good for them, Thai nor country to Russia has never ever backfired on anyone ever in the whole history of the world ever never. Greater than, the current global geopolitical tensions clearly signal the need to create institutional mechanisms that will have the stature, form and global trust to promote global peace and security. She said. And so, toward that end, we've decided to tie our economy to the country causing all these global peace, security issues. Greater than. The current global geopolitical tensions clearly signal the need to create institutional mechanisms that will have the stature, form and global trust to promote global peace and security. She said. Sue. Like NATO? This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.